Sandra? Yes, sir. <laughs> so what brings you here? We are at the courtship stage of our relationship. And together, we've been doing amazing things. <laughs> like? Every Friday, we organize orphanage outreach. And every Tuesday, we organize prison outreach. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, it is, sir. And it's been promising so far. And we believe our marriage will be ever on earth. Yes, sir. So tell me then, what's the problem? No problem, sir. Mm, that's great. Oh, great, sir. <laughs> sir, the only problem... Last week, sir. Last week, while we went to the orphanage, the orphans were crying profusely. They love us so much. They don't want us to leave. We're even planning to adopt one of them. Right? Daniel. Yes, sir. Sandra? I'll be very, very frank with you both. I appreciate people who realize that they have issues and are willing to address those issues much more than people who just keep the issues to themselves and put on smiley faces of deceit. Now, if you don't have a problem, then why for God's sake are you here? Sir, we are here to say hi. Hi? To who? To you. Me? Come on, you could have done that on the phone. Sir, we called, you didn't pick. Oh. Okay, Daniel. Sir. Sorry, I'm afraid you will have to excuse us for a minute or so. I need to address your fiancé. Nine years of what? Nine years he proposed to me. I'm not getting younger. My parents are confused. My friends have turned me into a laughing stock. Come on, nine years? Unwilling to settle down. He keeps saying God's time is the best. I am the firstborn of my parents. My younger siblings are all married. But I'm here following one brother using an outdated wristwatch to judge God's timing. I am tired of this relationship. If he is not ready to marry me, then let him say it to my face and I will go. Daniel, sir, why have you not taken this sister to the altar yet? Sir, God's time is the Please best. keep that your useless wristwatch to yourself. Nine years? What are you trying to tell me? Okay, just Sandra, okay? Counselor, if the day 
he proposed to me was the day they gave birth to a baby. By now, that baby will be writing Junior Waek. Now, son, sir, come out clear to me. What exactly is the problem? Sir, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of... Don't tell me what the Bible says. Tell me what your own problem is. Sir, That's it. Now you're talking. The country is not favorable. You can't go into marriage anyhow. And my job is not paying well. If I get married now, who will take care of my children? Hmm. Hmm. I kind of see your point. I thought you would condemn me if I open up. Why should I? I see you have good intentions. Sir, one more thing, sir. I'm thinking of traveling out of this country. Really? That's a good one. So that I can work, have enough money, further my education, and pursue my master's. So when will the wedding come in in all this? <laughs> Not now, sir. Mm. <laughs> Maybe in three years. By then, I will have finished my master's, get a job in a good company, and travel back to Nigeria to do a quick wedding and take her abroad with me. Now, if you add three more years to what you have now, that makes 12 years, 12 years of courtship. Like I said, sir, God's time is the best. Uncle, you are not using God's time. So think well before you add three more years. I am not going on a roller coaster with you. Now you talked about traveling out. Where do you plan to travel to? America, sir. Where exactly in America? Sir, I'm thinking of Texas, sir. You are thinking? Texas is a good place. And I heard there are a lot of Nigerians there. Do you have families in Texas? No, sir. Do you have friends in Texas? No, sir. Who then do you have in Texas? Sir, I have got. Oh. I am weak. Ah, why, sir? Your answer, it caught me unawares. I wasn't expecting it. The reason why I'm taking my time is to secure a future for my children and my wife. The reason you are actually taking your time is because you are blind and you have no direction. Sandra, my advice to you is very simple. A man who doesn't know where he is going cannot lead. It's not too late to hop out of this relationship. Sir, please don't give her that advice. I want to marry her. I love you. Those who know they are God will be strong and they shall do exploits. You don't know the God you claim to serve and that's why you are weak. You have given up on faith and given in into fear. You have kicked God out of the vehicle of your life and you have only taken over yourself. No need using your wisdom to search for greener pastures here and there. The only green pasture I understand is in the word of God. David says, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. That's a man who knows his God. Your own duty is to trust in the Lord with all your heart, never to lean onto your own understanding. Listen, the wisdom and understanding of man will fail, but it is only the counsel of God that stands forever. Thank you, sir. Now I know where I'm wrong. If really, if really God is at the foundation of this relationship, Daniel, then give him the chance. Let him build you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.